Welcome to the Dicky Dine Show, everybody. Today Woo! we are playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. It looks really fun, it looks really cool. We're gonna do survival mode. Hell and it's yeah. gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be this badass orange orange I'm who be... looks like the fucking Terminator. And I'm gonna be this fucking wicked sick Venus fly trap chomper guy. Have you ever seen Little Shop of Horrors? Because you look like Audrey from Little Shop of Horrors. I have no idea what that is. It's an old musical movie from the 1920s. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So I have a funny story. Yeah, what's up? So I was in fifth grade one time. Just once. Just once? Uh, <laughs> for three years. For three years. <laughs> and uh, we were in the class and we were doing like, I think it was like one of those like, overhead projections. I don't know what was happening, but our teacher was clearly just preoccupied because we were doing some shitty stuff and uh, he had no idea what was going on. So we took this like vase like little thing and we just proceeded to take anything liquid based we could find in the classroom and put it in the in the jar and then we got to the point that it was like so foul or like okay no let's all drink this oh, and, gross. and see who can drink the most and there was I didn't do it because I was like that's fucking stupid I was like we put glue and melted crayons in there we're not I'm not going to drink that I'm not going to put wax into my body and glue uh, but like there were like six other kids who did it and they all drank the whole thing and uh, like 10 minutes later, like one of the kids started throwing up oh, and no. then they all started becoming like violently ill. Oh, no. And the teacher was just like in a pandemic, like what the fuck happened? And then this, this, this is a girl this, who was just like in the back, just like waiting, waiting for her moment. And they're like, what happened? Like, they drank bad stuff. <laughs> she was just like from across the room. I was like, I didn't even know you were here today. And she's just like watching it. She had a fucking, her notepad down, taking cliff notes on us. Right. She's going to be an attorney. Oh, yeah. You know dude. she's going to be oh, yeah. a fucking lawyer when she grows up. Fucking Hawkeye over there who's just yeah. waiting. She's like, I didn't even know she was looking at it. I didn't know she was there. <laughs> they like, drank bad stuff. Yeah. Get them in trouble. Basically, it's just like, get them. You fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they, and, you know, they got in trouble, but they got sent to the uh, nurse's office and they all got like really violently ill and they all had to go to like the, the hospital and yeah. stuff. And it was, it was just like a bad, bad thing, but I'm really glad I didn't drink it. Oh and, man. And it became like this tough guy thing where like somebody took like a little drink and someone was like, oh, I'll take a bigger drink. And then it was a lot too. Like it was like a full thing of glue and then like crayons that we had melted and like, oh. and like markers and Sharpies and stuff like the ink from them. That's dude, like cancer in dude, a glass. Yeah, it was, dude, it was like bad, bad stuff. That's why I was like, I'm not fucking putting that in my body. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what, like eight or 10? And I was like, no, I'm not, not nine though. I'm just eight or 10. <laughs> I'm not doing that. And everyone else was like, dude, you're a pussy. I'm like, okay, well, look at you now. You have to go get your stomach pumped. Isn't that fun? Yeah, pussy. Yeah, you bitch. <laughs> What's up now? Your parents have medical bills. What's up? I think the funniest part of that whole story is just a little girl. I can just imagine her sitting back there just like, like, they did it. Waiting for they the were the ones who did it. It's like she didn't want to tattle and like make a scene until the teacher noticed. And she's just like, yeah. she's like, what happened? <laughs> They did it! They put bad stuff in a jar and drank it. They drank glue! <laughs> glue and marker! Kill them all! They put them in the oven! It's like, why are you so upset, little girl? You didn't drink it, we yeah. didn't force you to drink it. No, we were the ones being stupid. Yeah, what are you, what are you, why what? are you so mad? It's like we did stupid stuff and they were like sick and they, she still wanted us to be funny. It's like she was upset that you didn't include her in your, <laughs> She's like, that looked really good. In your glue drinking extravaganza. <laughs> He's just like, I wanted to be included and they didn't, so they're in trouble now. <laughs> God, Probably. that's fucking funny. <laughs> it was, it was a, one of the highlights of, of that. That and winning, you know, the marble flicking championship. That was a pretty big highlight. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big uh, big thing for me. <laughs> oh, and those fuck. bragging rights of marble champ. Alright, so uh, when I was in school, I was in uh, 10th grade, 11th grade. I don't remember that whole... Uh, season of life was a blur to me. It was just constantly it, on oh, dude, meth. It, yeah, it was a blur. It was a meth blur. A <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we were in zoology class, and there were, um, you know, like goldfish in bowls, and there was probably like five or six bowls of goldfish, and I was I sat in the back, and uh, I had <clears throat> rolled up pieces of like this brown tissue paper. Uh huh. And I was bored, so I was leaning back in my chair, and I would just like try to throw these these rolls of uh, or these balls of tissue paper into the goldfish bowls. <laughs> You're a monster, right? No, like, okay, it was, they were like these. They were kind of I, I've not been, very I've, big. I've been there. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I've been there. <laughs> I've done the same thing, man. So I'm throwing them in the bowls, and I throw them in all the bowls, right? And I do it every time the teacher's like writing stuff down, so she doesn't notice at all. So I'm just I'm, I kind of forget about it, and then. Five or ten minutes goes by, 
and all of a sudden the teacher's like talking to the class and she just goes who did that <laughs> and she was looking like back behind me and i was like what the fuck and so I turn around, and all those bowls of, uh, or all that tissue paper uh -huh. had unraveled oh, and completely covered the inside <laughs> of the bowls. So it was wrapped around, you know, the goldfish. Mm -hmm. And it was, <laughs> and so she was just pissed off, like, the entire, the rest of the class, because there were tissue paper in the goldfish. And the goldfish didn't die, it was a harmless prank. But it was really funny that's, to me, and she funny. lost her shit. Lost her sh she, she was furious. She's like, who did this? Who threw tissue paper in the goldfish I bowls? Feel, I feel like that was a, a requirement to be a teacher, is to just, like, always look for a reason to just fucking lose your mind. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, what? somebody just, like, sneezes, and they're like, okay, motherfucker, who keeps pranking me? Yeah. I'm like, I have an allergy. And they're like, you're going to the office, and I'm also going to go to your house and kill your parents. <laughs> like, I sneezed, I'm sorry. They're like, no, you must suffer. Yeah. Jesus you gotta go to the bathroom? No, you must piss your pants. Please, just shit on the floor. Shit on the floor. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I had a, I had a, uh, a P, one of those, what were they called? They were the, the they weren't teachers, but they uh, were like PA? duties, like P, like uh, recess duties. I think is what they were called. Oh, they the like ones outside they like, like monitored recess and made sure the kids didn't do <laughs> stupid shit. The ones that were too shitty to be Walmart security guards. Basically, yeah. And I had this one, uh, Miss Miss Green, I think her name was, and she was the meanest old lady you've ever met in your entire life. You would look at her, and she'd walk up to you and, and just. Question you like the cops, you, you know? Off. Like, why are you looking at me? Shouldn't you be playing? It's just <laughs> what like, is, what is okay, that? I'm sorry. I'm mad at you that you're not playing. I know, right? So on the topic of high school stories, um, so I, for some reason, thought it would be, when I was in 10th grade, a good idea to do a fucking intro to engineering because I, in 10th grade, I was like, hey, you know what would be a cool career? A fucking engineer. And I've never done anything like that. So I took intro to engineering class. And we had this teacher, his name was Mr. Field, and uh, he was like the most, conf like imagine, you know, the, uh, the like, dry eyes are bad. Yeah, yeah, That yeah. fucking guy. Imagine, like, him, Kermit the Frog, but, like, in slow motion. <laughs> like, it was, like, <laughs> yeah, so he was just like, <laughs> oh, okay, to do <laughs> <laughs> It was, like, so low and inaudible when he spoke, so it was already, like, a big learning curve because it was Impossible fucking engineering. Impossible to understand him. And he, dude, he was giving us, like, fucking, like, college-level stuff to do. Like, he was, like, like day one, he was like, okay, you guys are going to be doing, uh, or was it, when he first said it, he's like, okay, you guys should all learn this last year. And I was like, we're in 10th grade. You want, we should have learned engineering in ninth grade, is what you're telling me. Um, but we had to do projects with like those little, I don't know what they're called, those little, little fucking measuring things, and you had to do like diagrams on the computer and like all this like techie shit that I didn't know about. But and so anyway, pretty much it got to like halfway through the year, nobody took the class seriously because like nobody knew what was going on. Our teacher didn't give a shit, and he didn't know he wouldn't teach us. Like we'd, we'd literally ask for help, and he'd just be like, well, "You should have learned this already," and just wouldn't help. So it was a big, big problem. So we just all started playing games on the computers in all the classes and like literally no one was passing like I think there was one kid who had a C and he was like the smart he one. He was a smart kid yeah, in the class. Yeah, there was yeah. one kid who was passing with a C and all of us had F's and so the teachers were like okay something's going on. But yeah we play games in that class and uh, we had this fucking uh, PowerPoint we did. There was this kid in our class named Michael I think. Uh, he was like a the jock high school back you know quarterback guy. Yeah. And uh, he just he looked like he was like 28. And he, <laughs> I, I don't know why he was in that. He's class. like a like, super 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 senior. He was like he was like six seven in like fucking 12th grade, um, <clears throat> but he was in there and you know he was like the jokester funny guy and he always like make fun of kids and there was this one kid Steven, who had like really 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 bad dandruff. <laughs> and, like, and like wouldn't, he would always wear like black hoodies, so he, it was like he wanted to people to know that he was made of snow. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> Mike, Michael would always like just flip shit about it. Like he like lost his shit one time. He's like Mr. Field was. He's like, Marco, you need to calm down. He's like, well, Steven needs to wash his fucking hair with head and shoulders. He's just like, out of nowhere. He's just like, everyone's like, what the fuck is that? Just roasted him out <laughs> yeah. of nowhere. It was like onto him. And he's just like, well, what about Steven? It got so bad to the point that we were doing PowerPoints on like, uh, it was a product that currently existed and we had to do like research on it and then like a way to to like make it futuristic yeah. so, like, to advance it and like that was our project. This motherfucker goes up in front of the class and pulls it up and it's called, it's titled The White Rhino and the next clip is fucking Steven 
and his and <laughs> the white rhino is his dandruff, and he does a legitimate PowerPoint on this kid's dandruff in engineering class. Like he straight up, and Mr. Field was just he didn't get it. Like he was just like. <laughs> just back there, just like letting it happen. He finished the PowerPoint for like he was up there for like twenty minutes oh doing a PowerPoint, uh, just killing this kid's confidence. <laughs> it was the funniest thing, but like it was really sad. But oh my, I've never seen anybody do that. <laughs> I would have <laughs> lost my shit. If a, what did what did Dandruff King do? Like what did he? He went there after him and did like a normal PowerPoint. On but him. like his re his re did he say anything? He like he was just like you guys are mean. He did his reactions were always just like shitty. He just didn't like care. Oh god. But, yeah, dude, it was <laughs> it was bad. But um, another good one was that my that same Michael kid. He was just like the saving grace of that class. Um, because we all didn't give a shit. There was this kid Wyatt who was uh he played like soccer and shit. He was really really small, skinny ass kid in a. <laughs> This middle of class, <laughs> he's just sitting, Michael's just sitting there and he gets up and he goes over to Wyatt and he's like, I want to sit here. And he's like, oh, but I'm sitting here. And he's like, I'm sitting here. And he picks him up <laughs> and physically moves Wyatt. And Mr. Real gets up and he goes, Wyatt, sit down. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm in the air. What do you mean, sit down? <laughs> he literally went, like, not even a joke. He went up to Wyatt and blamed it on him and was like, you need to sit down. Oh, oh my suspended God. In the air. And then, oh dude, it gets so much better though. Like that's that's like the tip of it. And then, okay, so he puts Wyatt down, and Wyatt sits down. <laughs> and then he's like, Michael, you need to get to your seat. And he's like, You, you want to go, Mr. Field? He's like, What do you mean? He's like, You're trying to go? And he takes off his shirt. And he's like, We'll wrestle right now, Mr. Field. You want to wrestle me? He goes up and like hugs the fucking teacher. He's like, Michael, sit down. <laughs> he's being hugged. Michael, sit down, please. <laughs> and he, like, he let him go because obviously he wasn't trying to fight him. It was just a joke. But oh my God. It's like that was how little people fucking cared like I brought my skateboard to school a lot because I like would ride at home mm -hmm. and we, I brought my skateboard and people were just like hey dude you want to fucking skate in here and they just start doing like kick flips and shit on the carpet and Mr. Field would be like guys <laughs> you need to stop he's just, like fuck you Mr. Field he's probably so stoned out of his <laughs> he mind did not give a shit. he's just like guys but yeah so it, it was funny so we didn't do anything that entire class and then at the end of the year, we all got passing grades because of how bad he was of a teacher, and, oh he, and he got God. fired. So like all of us got to have like a lot of fun and play video games and skateboard in class, and then he got fired, and we all passed. Jesus Christ! Yeah, <laughs> that was that was some fun we had in that class. Well, look how we turned out, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> fuck, here I am, Mr. Field. Look at me now, Mr. Field. What are you doing, yeah. you fucking janitor? You <laughs> fucking janitor. Dude, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It was a lot, of, a lot of fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for Woo! watching us play uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you like this game, go check it out. It's really fun. It's a lot of coolness and, and stuff. And, uh, yeah, hit that like button if you like this video. Comment and subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you all in the next Dickie Dines episode. Bye!